What do you mean my microphone is an unknown USB audio device? Anyway, like I was trying to say before the end of the last video, our main objective in the uh, Fort Frolic here is to go ahead and take pictures of the people that Senator Cohen has some bizarre grudge against, and he wants us to kill. After we kill him, we take pictures of their corpse, like I said, and we put them in this, which is his quote-unquote masterpiece. And somehow, some shenanigans happened, and there's an alarm that's been triggered, so um, <clears throat> every time we do this, we get a reward. Instead of getting one big reward at the end, we get a reward each and every time, which is nice. Um, I'm, oh crap, I was trying to stay invisible there to see if um, I could wait for the alarm to go away, but I have no idea what even triggered it in the first place, so clearly something on fire, though. So, uh, the first reward that we get here is the last weapon in the game. It's the crossbow. I've been waiting forever for this. It's not my favorite weapon in the game, but it's definitely... It, it, why aren't they freezing? Why aren't they freezing? It definitely comes full circle with the... Um, the what you'd expect from all the weapon arsenal in this game. It, it is uh, basically the sniper weapon in this game. Um, and like most crossbows in modern games, you can, or even not so modern games, you can recollect the bolts after they have impacted an object. And uh, it's basically a precision weapon. You aim for the head and get an instant kill, and the crossbow bolt sticks into them, and you can recover it later. Um, the first of two alternate ammo types for them, both of which are incredibly good, are the incendiary bolts here, we can just go ahead and buy those. And they deal obscene amounts of fire damage, so uh, we we'll go ahead and use those in this area. This area is frozen over, and um, somebody didn't tell him about uh, hitting the pipes, did they? Good old, uh, what's his name there? I don't remember his name. Anyway, um, so Martin Finnegan, that is the guy we're after according to this audio diary, and uh, Clearly, he's responsible for this freezing. Yeah, I'm not buying this one bit. The audio diary is pretty creepy, though. But yeah, if we uh, these are actually frozen Houdini splicers, and if we set them on fire, they'll like, just teleport away. Ah, oh, hey, crap is happening. Sent someone. Son of a bitch left me to freeze. Oh, I've got a pose all picked out for you. Well, you just saved us the trouble of looking for you. So, introducing a new enemy type here, we have, uh, or not really a new enemy type, but it's a uh, Wintery Houdini Splicers, they're essentially the same thing as regular Houdini Splicers, get their Ice Elemental, which means they're weak to fire, obviously, so let's go ahead and bring out the Flamethrower, since that is nothing but pure fire, and we'll set them ablaze. And one of them is is the guy we're after, and um, the rest are just regular enemies. Some of them might not, not all of them might not actually be a Houdini Splicers, actually, but we're going to research a lot of them anyway. Uh, yeah, apparently one's a Nitro Splicer, as we just gained a level for Nitro Splicer there. More pictures. That might actually be... I've never tried that before, just toss a grenade out and give them all aggroed at the same time, if not killing them all. So yeah, as you can see, the uh, from the guy we're actually after there, he is shooting uh, ice attacks at us, so... Um, uh, Winter Unity Splicers are very uncommon, though. At least in this game, they'll be a lot more common in the second one. And for defeating him, we get the Frozen Field Tonic, which allows us to be Ice Elemental instead of Fire Elemental. So we're going to go and equip that. I actually really like that uh, that Tonic because it also allows us to deal Ice Damage with our Wrench. Unlike the um, uh, Human Inferno, which would not allow us to do Fire Damage with it. So anyway, I think we've pretty much looted all these guys. We've looted them of their textures, apparently. Ooh, some enzyme samples. That, might, that means we might be able to craft the uh, Boost Hand pretty soon here. Another crossbow. If I can pick it up, there we go. And we took the, we went ahead and took the picture of his corpse. So let's go ahead and return it to the masterpiece and get our second reward. Yeah, there's a lot more to this area that still needs to be explored, but past this frozen area. But uh, that involves all the later uh, hunts, I guess you could say, against these guys. So we'll go ahead and we'll backtrack through here eventually too. So um, I might actually be able to edit out some of this backtracking later on. But I don't want to right now because I want to show off where the Gatter's Garden machine is in this area. 
I believe this is the only one in the level. And uh, I definitely want to get some stuff here because I have nearly 300 at them. Can't go wrong with that. So let's get another slot and get the... What do I want? Extra Nutrition 3, that's right. I knew I wanted that. Extra Nutrition 2 is now available, but since we already have 3, there's no reason to have that. Um, let's see, get that. I want the... F I clipped the Frozen Field, didn't I? Um, well, I guess they put the Human Inferno back on then, so now we're resistant to all elements. How awesome. Uh, and the Sonic Boom 2 is now available, so we can go ahead and just automatically get that, because it only costs one item, just like the previous one did. So now, it'll be even more obscenely broken than the first one. <laughs> so, um... The thing is, though, it's something, it might be a glitch, actually. I'm not sure why this is with the Sonic Boom. Ow! But, um... You can actually have the Sonic Boom 1 and 2 as separate plasmids that you can equip uh, one over the other. And, uh, I think both at the same time, actually. Meanwhile, we have some things on fire. One of them is a bouncer, an elite bouncer at that. He's basically a new enemy type, and it's also the first time we get to research the bouncer. We don't, we never get to research the normal bouncers, but the elite ones will have to do, so we get a full level on that. And we're going to keep researching him, because it's been a while since we've seen him. Unfortunately, he's going to come charging at us, because he doesn't seem to get the message that we didn't set him on fire, even though we're perfectly capable of doing so. So, uh, I suggest if you guys are watching this in full screen, in a dark room, turn around and look at your wall real quick, and enjoy the light show. This is the brokenness of the electric gel, ladies and gentlemen. This is what it can do when you have your consumption rate uh, enhanced with the uh, that upgrade. Yeah, it, the the big daddies are essentially helpless, as I've said. I've established already what that does. It's it's the ice element, or not ice, the electric elemental attack from the chemical thrower, and it basically uh, makes the big daddy completely helpless because they will be continuously stunned by the continuous stream of damage. And it's also super effective against them because it is. Let me see if I can freeze this guy with the frozen field, or this girl, rather. Uh, I tried. But yeah, that's... If I did get to... Oh, hell. She's going after that health machine. Die. But, um... Yeah, that would have been a good demonstration of the frozen field, but, um... No big deal. Like I said, if you wanted to equip the sports boost and that, then, um... And all the wrench, like the wrench jockey and wrench lurker tonics, you could have a really interesting setup with, like, an all-wrench setup. You're just like this furiously fast wrench swinger. It's pretty hilarious, but I don't recommend it. It's there if you want to, but um, we get our second reward. Some much needed anti personnel rounds and some money. So yeah, uh, now that we can craft electric gel and I already have the chemical thrower consumption rate upgraded, uh, that'll be our probably arguably the best way of killing a big daddy. The only problem is we can only do it every so often. We don't, we need to craft because it takes almost an entire clip of electric gel to do it. <clears throat> it would take more than an entire clip if uh, we didn't have it upgraded, but um, needless to say, we, can, we can't hold that much electric gel, so um, we can only really hold enough to kill one Big Daddy at a time. And I don't want to use the electric gel on anything but Big Daddies, even though it probably would be pretty effective. I should probably try that at some point, using it on regular enemies. But um, uh, there will be another method of killing Big Daddies extremely easily. With the crossbow, but that's with the third ammo type that I'll be demonstrating pretty soon here. It'll probably be the way I take down the rest of the big guys in this level, but that's not really urgent right now. In fact, I might do that before I leave, actually. Um, with the incinerator, I've broken, broken my way through to this area of Fort Frolic, which is essentially where the remaining guys are we need to go after. All of them are in this area, and we'll have to backtrack to the main area. Uh, like I said, I still like the way this le this level is set up better to avoid backtracking than in uh, Arcadia. I, th I still think Arcadia is a bit worse than that. But, um, be careful of the security around here, and the spider splashes will start crawling on the ceilings. Now, um, the, the, one of the better upgrades you can get, or pro probably the next upgrade I get, actually, is the, uh, to decrease the chance of the crossbow bolt breaking on impact, which will decrease your, like, there I go, I was having a hell of a hard time hitting that guy. But, um, if you break, if you break it, obviously the shot is consumed, you can't pick it back up again, but if it doesn't break, you can pick it back up again. But um, if you have the breakage chance enhanced, then it means basically you'll never be able to run out of regular steel tip bolts. Fortunately, the regular steel tip bolts are not really all that special unless you get a headshot. They do deal a considerable amount of damage, but um, only to fleshy targets, and they um, they will uh, wear out their welcome quite fast until we upgrade the damage. But I still think that's a higher. P oh hell, the buckshot hit the uh, glass back there. Oh well, time to wait on another alarm. But yeah, the 
The crossbow, yeah, the other ammo types are considerably better, but if you increase the breakage chance, I think you'll only acquire a steel tip bolt from it. You won't reacquire your uh, your incendiary bolt or your trap bolt again. Which is kind of lame, but like I said, it means you'll never be able to run out of those types of bolts. Which is kind of annoying, because you'll never be able to pick them up again, so... Anyway, I'm kind of... I didn't really intend to set off half of... The original run through the game that I did, um... I didn't set off this many alarms in this level, but I still think this this LP is going a lot better than that run did. And I'm gonna whip up the liquid nitrogen guy and try to freeze this again. Hacking it would also be nice, because I'd be able to have something else that could hit the, uh... The mini-bosses that I'm gonna be encountering here, which are the, the guys we're going after. I consider them a mini bosses essentially, because they're not essentially regular enemies. Okay, I don't know how I froze him after he died, but whatever. This room over here, or really all it has in it worth anything, is this audio diary right here, so I'm gonna go ahead and pick that up, but not really a whole lot else in here that's all interesting. <clears throat> Interestingly enough, that's another uh, room that's locked with the keypad, though. There's a camera in here. Well, I was gonna hack it until he's about to destroy it. That kinda sucked. Yeah, mon not that much else in here. A lot of cigar stores around here for some reason, though. Anyway, now we're moving on to the next person we're supposed to kill over here in Eve's Garden, with a suspicious triple X underneath the sign. Is that a stripper pole? It better not be. That's awfully naughty of this game. Anyway, um, I want to say we have enough to go craft the booze hound, though, so let's go ahead and do that. Uh, there's you invent right here. Well, let me hack it first, then I'll be able to craft it. Okay, so now we can get drunk and have fun with it and not lose anything. Um, tell you what. Um, yeah, we'll go ahead and equip it. We'll worry about the other tonic later. Let's go get drunk. Like I said, you can feel all the, the benefits of being drunk without losing anything, You but you gain both health and Eve from it. And I think it's actually really efficient because then you can make use of all these random uh, alcohol entities lying around without actually losing anything, so... Not essential, not by a long shot, but pretty nice. I thought you had forgotten about poor Jasmine, but I am so glad Subtitles, you ruined the moment again. I'm sorry, Mr. Ryan. And this is actually a very no. relevant plot point. Uh, know. it's actually very subtle as well. I'm gonna say that so it doesn't what ruin doing? this. No. But um I'm not gonna say what it is because uh, that would be spoilers and I hope you guys can figure it out for yourselves. It would take you wouldn't believe me if I told you basically. Looks like she's been dead for quite some time. That creepy Dr. Tannenbaum promised me it wasn't gonna be a real pregnancy. They just take the egg out once Mr. Ryan and I had... Oh, I need the money so bad. I knew Mr. Ryan was gonna suss it out. Gonna know I wasn't being careful. Gonna know I sold the... Mr. Ryan's gonna be so mad at me. Okay, well I failed to hack that several times, so I just decided to let the uh, alarm go down and just say screw it. Go ahead and reactivate that. Oh, there's Hector Rodriguez. What are you doing trying to get drunk? Don't you know I've already consumed all the alcohol around here? Get the hell out of here. Anyway, he is a Nitro Splicer type, and he will throw grenades at us as he flees, and we're going to chase after him with the anti Oh, crap, a big daddy. Quickly, let's kill him. Get out of my way, bouncer. This doesn't concern you between me and this Hector guy. I guess you could throw them back at him with the uh, telekinesis, but it really has to keep hitting him with these anti personnel rounds. I almost used up all of them. There we go, you sly dog, you. And we have now robbed him of his textures, and we will now take a picture of him. Smile, Hector. 
Promise this camera will be the last thing you ever see. You flutter all around the fort, taking life as you go. 